In this video, I want to talk about tags. Tags are another way to organize your content like categories, but just a little different. While categories give you an organizational structure to your site, tags allow you to create links to content that might not necessarily fit into actual categories or organizational structure, but you want people to be able to find them. So I've got a new post here on the site. Movie night in the park this Tuesday will feature the Princess Bride on the big screen. Bring some chairs, some popcorn, and the kids for this fun time together. Well, the block is set with a title and a paragraph like we did in the other post. But now when I click on document, I've added a few categories. I'm going to put this in the events category. But maybe I don't want to have a category called movies, but I still want people to find this content and be able to group this content in a simple way. So I'm going to click on tags and I'm going to put in a tag called movies. I can separate them by comma, family night. And you'll see every time I insert a comma, it records that new tag for me. And when I click publish, it gives me the post address and I can go and view the post. Now you'll notice down here below the post now I have my tags. If I click on one of them, it takes me to a tag archive page for family night that would list all of my family nights in publication date order. So tagging is really, really helpful. If I head back over to my dashboard and come to posts and click on tags, you'll now see I have new tags that have been created on the fly and they're both listed in one post. Just a word about tags. Personally, I like to create my tags here and let people choose them rather than always adding new tags. The tag manager is fantastic because it prevents all kinds of typos. So let's say now I've got this tag in here and I create a new post. Another movie night in the park. And let's say this time we're gonna show Forrest Gump. Of course, we add a lot more information there. If I click on document and I click on tags, as soon as I type a couple of letters in the tag, it's going to give me the option to select it. So now I'm not liable to have any typos. The tagging system in WordPress is really great. As I mentioned, it gives people just another way to find all of your content. So if I now click on movies, you'll see I've got those two posts that have been tagged with movies in a nicely ordered list by publication date and time. 